Welcome to the channel. We're going to go through some sales I've had over the last few days and then just see where the video takes us. We'll start over on eBay today because it's a lot quicker than Vinted at the minute. 18 pounds all in. We've sold the Tomy Time Trap Palletoy Pocketeer, whatever it's bloody called. Thing. Picked a massive bundle up from a lovely French lady in one of my last car boot sales. I paid five pounds for everything. I'm pretty sure I've done about 300 quid. I had no idea just how good that bundle was. Otherwise, I would have paid her a little bit more. Bless her up. £12 all in. We've sold a two Danes schmock top. It's a schmock. It's a top. £3 from the charity shop sold for £12. At the moment, currently, fees on eBay for clothing are free for both business and private. Private's free for everything, but business is, is free for now. Hopefully, they make that change. If they do, and they make it consistent and forever, I might consider start selling clothing on eBay again, like all of my stuff. We'll see. Nah, probably not. Vintage. Vintage is the dog at the minute. The big dog. And for £12.99, we have sold the Estee Lauder Linen Perfume. Got a bit of in there. Vintage bottle. Paid £1.50 from a charity shop. Had it sat on the side for ages just because it had a sticker on there. All I had to do was spray my stuff. Hang on a minute, actually. A lot of you guys, whenever I say things like, oh, it's got a sticker on it, it's going to be a pain to get off. What I mean is, it's going to take me time to do it. As in, a couple of seconds to a minute, whatever it is. That, to me, is a pain. I want stickers that just peel off nice and easily. I do have stuff. I use tar and glue remover. I've got another one over there, and I've got another bottle that's on its way because this one's almost empty. I don't really like that other bottle of stuff I've got. So I've had this bottle here. If I find the Amazon list, and I've had this one since. Well, manufactured 2019, expired 2022. I've had this probably since the start of my reselling journey, along with this bottle here of my white vinegar. I've had that since the start as well. Before I started YouTube, while I was reselling without YouTube. When was this expire? Probably can't see on here. Not that vinegar really expires, but... Don't worry, guys. When I say I need to get some sticky stuff off, I'm covered, I promise. I really appreciate everybody's suggestions, but I'm on it. I know I might seem dumb, and sometimes I like to play dumb, but I'm not. Speaking of which, I've been putting a couple of like little funny rage-baiting videos out recently. I can't believe some of you guys, who are my most, uh, what's the word, like, you've been around the longest for me, believe it. I threw Dino Crisis in the bin. I mentioned Bovagari was the wrong spelling, and I've just put another one out today about some gold. Come on, you lot. Come on. It's funny watching the people who have never really seen the channel before interact. That's quite funny. Everyone's going, Dino Crisis is great. That's how you spell Bulgari. And then obviously I haven't really, I don't know about the gold one yet because I've only just posted it, but I expect I'll get the same on that. If you've been around here forever, come on. You know better than that. But it's really fun watching the interactions. <laughs> right, we'll move. That's all, that's all for eBay. So we'll move over to Vinted in just a moment. Right, eBay sorted. Let's move over to Vinted. What is going on with this beanie? 11 pounds and 11 pence. We have sold the Audi, or is it Lidl? Audi, Kevin the Carrot Friends, football people. Run Audi. Get it? Mmm, bap. Get it? Maradona. Get it? And Bean. £11.11 11 from that massive jumble sale that I did a little while ago. I say massive, the jumble sale wasn't big, but the stuff that I picked up was way into profit now. £11.11, 11 beautiful. £8.88, Lauren has picked up the Jim King leggings. I paid £4 for these from the charity shop, so I've made a nice little double up. Lauren's left me a message saying, Hi Ricky, thank you for accepting my offer. Long time subscriber here. Love your videos and how genuine you are. Keep up the good work. Lauren, means a lot. Thank you so much. Six pounds and 66 pence. We've sold the Reebok fluffy teddy bear fleece joggers. I bought these from Top Clobber Stream, Ricky Devaney, and I wore them for myself. They are ladies, but I wore them myself for a bit. I knew they were ladies when I was buying them, but just look at them. And they were so snuggy and so lovely, but the waistline just a little bit too uncomfortable. Do you know what I mean? So it kind of takes away the, the rest of it, which was such a shame because they are lovely, but they've sold for six pounds, 66 pence. I think I paid a fiver, so I've made a quid. And I've got a bit of use out of them. For £9.99, we've sold the Hunter jacket. It's a really nice one. I paid a fiver for it, but it was just sticking around. It wasn't selling on eBay. It wasn't selling on Vinted. It's had multiple cycles. I think it's because of the small size. It is an extra small. But Joe's decided to pick this one up, so hopefully he can do better on it. Joe sells stuff as well. Joe's asked me to tell Terry to read his messages. He's forgotten his RuneScape password and he's got goblins to kill. Also, don't forget the monster energy drink. <laughs> Joe, I appreciate you, mate. And Terry, stop pissing around. You're always up to something, you are. 
Paid £4, sold it for £12. A nice little triple up. It's this vintage, ow, my old money box. Don't speak, I told you. I don't want them to know that you can speak. Have you seen Toy Story? It's like that, be like that. This is sold, I've got a little message from this one as well. It says, can you read it Elmo? Me and my husband watch your YouTube channel and we really enjoy your fit days. What sort of voice is that? You got a cold or something? Let me, let me handle it from here. Me and my husband watch your YouTube channel. Stop it. Me and my husband watch your YouTube channel and really enjoy your videos and like your banter. And my husband has started reselling from you. Stop it. His vintage name is Kem Naseb and eBay name is Seb JVP 22 We understand your lifestyle and we have disabilities. Thank you, be yourself. I appreciate you both. Elmo, you got anything you want to say? Thank you. Not sure about you, mate. Thanks, guys. Elmo says don't put me in there. Shut up. <laughs> For 30 pounds and a few pence, 19 pence, Mark has picked up a nice little bundle of Master System games. I'm not gonna edit that, I'm gonna leave it in. Speedball, Golden Axe, Lion King, SCI, and Alien Storm. When I was going through the games that I picked up the other day and getting rid of the junk like Dino, Crisis, Rugrats, and Tekken, these were what I left over. I just stuck them up on Vinted, and he's made me an offer, silly man. Do you know what I mean? We don't sell good games around here. We just sell junk. That's how we like to run our life. Marco, I appreciate it, mate. He's bought loads of stuff off me recently. He keeps saying to me, when you get vintage gaming stuff, and let me know, but then I get on a listing spree, I forget. It just goes straight onto Vinted. But you're on here now, Mark. Mark's been lurking for a while. Now you can actually... Just keep an eye on my Vinted page, and that's going to be the best place to get older stuff, because everybody asks me for things, and I, get, I forget who's asked for what, and I think it's just fair if I just put it up and put it up. So make sure you're following the page, and you'll get a notification when stuff goes up. I love you, Mark, but it's, I just forget, all right? But not only that, a couple of days later, no, a day later, I put this up, and Mark's picked this up as well. He's picked up the Minecraft bundle. It's the case with the little standy bits inside. It holds 32, but there's only 31, which is a fantastic amount to have. Sold it for, I think I listed it for 39.99, and he sent me an offer of 33, something like that. Yeah, something like 33, where is it? 34.28, so I accepted it. This is from that bundle I picked up on Marketplace a little while ago. I say a little while ago, like four days ago. So Mark's got two purchases. Annoyingly, I've got to send them both separately because that's the way Vinted is. You can't combine postages just yet. Unless you can, and I just don't know about it. Let me get those sorted out. That's all the parcels. Dropped, picked, packed, and spoken about. I've changed the way that I edit and do my videos. You won't notice it, but I will. And that was so much easier. Forget it. I don't know why I even bother telling you that, to be honest. So a few nice little sales going out there today. Might take a trip into the charity shop if I can be bothered. It's freezing out there. It's absolutely icicles. I've got to take these to be dropped off regardless, so might drop in there. But before I do, regarding those little rage bait videos, it's just a bit of fun. Relax. Don't take it too seriously. My head has been getting a bit too full recently. I've been taking things far too seriously. I've had to take some action. I've deleted Twitter or X. It's called X and I call it Twitter. And removed a couple of people and things that I was getting sucked in by. Now, I don't speak about politics. I don't speak about conspiracies. Not massively anyway. People who know, know. I don't talk about what I believe, what I don't believe, how I think the world's going, how the world is. I don't talk about things like that on this channel because that's not what the channel's about. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be spoken about. And also, I don't care enough about my own beliefs to push them onto other people. I don't care. You believe what you want. You think what you like. Act how you want. Do what you want. That's your life. And it's my life. But basically, because of that, I'm always, I don't trust mainstream media. I'm going to tell you that much on the channel. I don't mind telling you that. BBC, ITV, Channel 4, I don't trust them at all. They're all liars. They're all bought. They're all paid. The only time I ever do watch them is to see what narrative they're pushing now and see what's going to be coming out over the last, you know, whatever. But the news that I do try and get is from alternative sources. And I try and be one step ahead or two steps ahead of what they're about to tell us on mainstream. That is overwhelmingly stressful. It is dark, it is cloudy, it is dingy, it's just too much. I spoke to Emma and I said, I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling. I think I know why, because I'm trying to take in too much and what I'm taking in isn't pretty. It's not nice. The world is messed up at the moment. So I said, I'm going to have to take some action in order to try and uncloud my mind. It's affecting me, it's bringing me down. I don't need that. And a lot of people will disagree here, but there's nothing I can do. 
I don't plan to go and start any kind of revolution. I don't plan to start anything. I don't plan to get involved in anything. So what am I going to do? It's a lot to take on for somebody who's going to do nothing. So I'm pulling back. I'm trying to get my headspace back again. Try and have a bit of fun and move forward and get myself back into a nice, at least even mental space. My fitness has taken a bit of a hit. Not massively. I've been speaking to Ayrton about it the whole way through and he's been really, really good with me to be fair. I've chewed all my nails back off again. If you remember, I was growing them. I've, I've been a nail biter for nearly 30, well, 30, all, all my life. I'm 37. First time I ever had nails a little while ago. I chewed them all off. My diet's slipping. I'm still on track, but I'm like 70%. 70% is not good enough. And I'm just realising and seeing all these things. And I'm trying to work out what it is. And I know what it is. I'm trying to gather news that isn't out yet. And see what's happening. And the world is just ugly. So, I've taken a step back. I'm chilling out. I don't know what I picked up a lid for. And I made a couple of funny videos. Funny for me anyway. It gives me a little spark. So the message from this is just be aware of what you're consuming. Who you're listening to. What you're watching. You might think you're trying to stay one step ahead. Or you might think that this account that you follow that spouts out the same kind of stuff. Whether it's political. Whether it's conspiracy. Whether it's money motivated. Whether it's health and fitness. There's a lot of people that are churning out some absolute junk that gets inside your head and you don't realise it. So... Maybe over the next few days, take a look at your feeds. Even if it's me, take a look at your feeds. See who's affecting you in a certain way. And if you're not fully on board and you realise that they might be an issue, unfollow them, remove them. Take yourself away from the platform even. What goes in has to come out some way. Whether that's through depression, whether that's through happiness, is your choice. Be careful of what you consume. Actually, I'm not going to go to a charity shop today. I'll leave the video there. Just be happy and have some fun. Keep a look out for the next video and don't take them too seriously.